Hi, welcome to my channel, INTJ Reacts. My name is Scylla, and today we are going to be watching Stitches by Lost Society, their music video that was released, hold up, a year ago, literally? It just says one year ago, today, August. So I guess it was released exactly one year ago. I don't know, sometime this, around this time of year last year. Anyways, I kind of listened to Lost Society. I went to the, I don't know if you can see, the Children of Bodom. Uh, 20 years down and dirty tour in North America in 2017 and they were an opener for Children of Bodom But I didn't really know who they were so I was there, but I wasn't really like paying attention You know as you do and I think I also saw them in Tusca in 2017, but don't quote me on that I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I don't even know if they played to be honest So really in conclusion I have been around them But not really focused enough on their music to say that I have listened to them except there's one song called I Am The Antidote. I might do a reaction video to it and just be like in awe the whole time. Who knows? So I can't say that I'm like 100% not aware of what they do. They're like kind of thrash metal to me. They're for sure metal. You know, I'm bad with subgenres. I don't know. Some kind of Finnish metal. They are a band from... Hmm. I don't speak Finnish, obviously, but Uviskula, I think. They were formed in 2010. Damn. That's a long time ago. Anyways, that's all I really know about them. I do know that their drummer currently was a drummer for a band that I really liked, Past Tense. And I don't want to say the name of the band because I don't want to promote that band as they are currently. But that band, that redacted band, was like one of my favorite Finnish bands in the past. Emphasis on the past. Thank you. So like I said, I have listened to I Am The Antidote and a couple of other songs from that album. but. I've heard from some of my friends who are also metalheads that their latest single, Stitches, is questionable. So this is what we're gonna be watching today. I hope it's not questionable. I hope that I like it, obviously. So we're gonna go in with an open mind. I'm not gonna take anybody else's opinions into consideration because if I like something, I'm just gonna like it, obviously. That's like one of the reasons why I'm excited to review this video with y'all. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. No, I'm going in with an open mind. It's only been two seconds. Set this shit off or suck this shit off? Like. <laughs> His voice is so good, first of all. Like, he has such a raw voice. <sighs> yeah. Thank you. I got I got goosebumps. Ugh, asymptomatic doesn't mean that I'm not sick. Bitch, tell him. I didn't mean to call you, bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, lyrics, lyrics slap. Wait, I can't keep meditating because I'm hyperventilating. Is that what he said? Lyrics, lyrics, immaculate, immaculate lyrics. You know, it's like a small detail that's like throwing off my immersion. Um, honestly, the walls are too clean. I know they have they have like blood, you know, but it's like calculated blood. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's too clean. I don't know. This could be because it's like a mental asylum in Europe and they are just better than us. <laughs> okay. I don't know what he said, but it rhymed. I'm not, I say this, but I'm not a huge fan of whenever music does that. Like when you go from like really hard raw vocals to like la la la, I, I'm not like a huge fan of that. Just saying. He kind of sounds like you know Lincoln Park, like Chester from Lincoln Park, right there though, and I appreciate that. Ow. This makes so much sense. Hmm. 
Mm. I feel like he encompassed so many things with that. Like so far, how can I organize my thoughts thus far? Because he said I need my fix. Like he like give him a dosage. I need my fix. It doesn't matter how much, which you know is something that comes along with mental illness. When these uh, Western medicine doctors don't want to like actually help you, they're just like, here's a pill, and they just keep upping your dosage. Even if you just say like, oh, I think I need more doctor. Like, cool, got it. Sign a prescription. Here you go. And then um, he said something about it. Keep ripping the stitches off, which happens if you have like mental illness for a long time, I feel like, and you self-sabotage. You kind of become like a masochist in a sense where it's just something that you're comfortable with because you're so used to it, even though it's harmful to you. So cool. <laughs> Ah, invalidated. I don't know if he said that the first time, but yeah. I love their energy, by the way. They've got like charisma. Oh, oh, you're gonna break it. Wait, y'all better break that guitar. No, he didn't break the guitar. I need a completion. Mm, I feel like with that, that like that, mm, how do you, what do you describe that as? Like, it's like a disc scratch, but it's also very Linkin Parky. And I do love Linkin Park as any other millennial loves Linkin Park, but I don't know, Linkin Park is like special, you know? And I do appreciate when bands like, not mimic them, but like give tribute to that band. Cause you know, they've influenced a lot of people. And so it's like totally fine if you add it into your songs. I just don't, I'm not really into having it like too much in a song or having a band that is like a copy and paste of Linkin Park with different font, you know what I mean? But that's for me personally, because Linkin Park will always be Linkin Park. So uh, they're the only one, you know what I mean? Uh, but that, that's just me. You're here to listen to my opinion. I know that it's fine for some other people, especially younger people who didn't grow up with Linkin Park. This is great for them. So yeah, it's fine. He's a good actor. They're all good actors. Holy shit. I really, I felt that. I felt like they were dying. I mean, unaliving, sorry. I do find it a little bit hilarious that they just have people in straight jackets running around them. <laughs> He has such good vocals, are you kidding me? How do you do that? How do you do that? And like, you can still talk. Huh? Tell us, tell us all right now. What is your secret? Hmm, let me think about this. I think I just need to like digest this more because I do, I love the lyrics. Lyrics are immaculate, like I said. Their energy, like their charisma, their acting even, great. Music video, composition, amazing. Except for the comment that I made about the walls. But like, again, Europe is better than us. So maybe that's just like how it is there. I think it, overall it's not it's not a bad song. It's very different from like the heavier songs I feel that they've put out in the past. I see them more as like a thrash metal band and this was like more new metal I suppose, which isn't my favorite genre, but I'm it's slowly growing on me. Like these songs aren't bad. They're not terrible at all. Like not even close. It's just something new for me to acclimate to, I think. Should I give it a rewatch? <laughs> yes, duh. We're gonna skip through though, because y'all already saw this with me. See like the beginning I'm not a fan of, but I love this part, you know? I prefer like heavier music, to be honest. You can tell that they're all experienced musicians. That just gives the whole music video a different vibe. No, I think I've said everything that I need to say. Yeah, I want to listen to 112 as well because that was also released recently. They also, I think they released a whole new album like last year during the Panini. Let me look this up. 
Oh, 2022, if the sky came down. And 2020, no absolution. Wow, they had two Panini albums. That must have been hard. Ooh, at least they're still making music. Groove metal. They're categorized as groove metal. What the fuck is groove metal? Groove metal, sometimes also called neo thrash or post thrash, is a subgenre of heavy metal that began in the 1990s. I don't know if I would use groove as the word. Pantera? Machine head? Okay. I'm not like a stickler for subgenre categorization, but that song was fine. I like their lyrics a lot, like I said. So I'm gonna give their other song, 112 a listen as well and a reaction as well because I think they also have a music video if they don't then I'll react to another video music video that they do have out recently anyways let me know your thoughts about this music video thank you for watching this video if you like it please like it if you dislike it please dislike it please subscribe to support my youtube channel and click on the bell for notifications I post hopefully every week I don't know I do have another youtube channel called Silla 44 where I actually do post once a week so if you miss my face then you can go over there and subscribe yeah that's all I have to say thank you guys for watching again and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye I try very hard to be efficient, but you know, the brain doesn't brain sometimes.